you didn't bring along your drum uh, group that you have? At oh, yeah. They're <laughs> waiting in the parking lot. Okay, good. I want to bring them in at one time. <laughs> be fun to see them. No, I wish we would have brought them next time. Technical difficulty, just one second. Okay, all right, we will just go away. No, nope, we're fine. This is called doing it on the spot. Okay, all right, we'll figure it out. Okay, good evening. Um, I am uh, Principal Ellen Stewart from North Junior High School. And um, first of all, I have to put my glasses on. I, I turned 50 and I can't see anymore. Um, I am excited to present to you some of the things that are happening at North Junior High School. What I'd like to do is to start our journey as a student at North Junior High in which we empower and prepare. So who is a North student, a North Eagle? We are a diverse community of students and staff. Our demographics are as follows. 2% identify as American Indian, 7% identify as Asian, 8% identify as Hispanic, 39% identify as white, and 44% of our students identify as black. 20% of our students are identified as having special educational services, and 26% are identified as ELL. At North Junior High, our classes have some commonalities. First, we have co-teaching, in which two teachers working together with groups of students, sharing the planning, organization, delivery, and assessment of instruction, as well as the physical space. Second, we have Dreamline, the SANA Foundation. They provide coaches that give academic and behavior support to all of our students. And third, we have social emotional learning support staff. This includes our behavior support specialist, our bully prevention specialist, and truancy interventionist. Also, our special education students can be mainstreamed into all of our classes. As a North Eagle, a student, they have many options to be prepared for their future in language arts. One is co-teaching ELL. That's when the teaching pair would be an ELL teacher and an LA teacher, LA teacher working together. Also, they have the option of having advanced LA and one of the neat things about our advanced LA school uh, class this year was that they did um, an art show and invited community members to come in and see their work. Uh, third, we have honors courses, and that provides uh, uh, that also provides an opportunity uh, for increased rigor, rigor and critical thinking. Data from language arts. In language arts, the percent of students who achieved an SGP. Uh, which, is, uh, which is called the student growth percentile of 50 or above, meaning the student has shown more growth than 50% of their academic peers. In sixth grade, 55% had a growth of 50% or better. Seventh grade, 49%. In eighth grade, 45%. A student at North has several options in math. Courses offered are geometry at Apollo, algebra 1.1 and 1.2, and then math 6. Our math core program assists with students with both um, push in to the classroom and pull outs for individual tutoring. We also have a program called Math Masters. And it is a competitive math program that challenges sixth graders to use critical thinking skills and problem solving abilities in mathematics. Two teams of sixth graders competed against 200 other students individually and in teams of four at our local competition held at Sauk Rapids Middle School in early March. 
Now what's interesting about our math masters is that their practices are at 7.15 in the morning. They get up at 7, well, earlier than that, to make it to school by 7.15. And also we have a math count that, a program, and that's for our 7th and 8th grade students. Again, come in at 7.15 in the morning to participate. This group took one four-person team plus six individual competitors to competition at St. Cloud State in late February, where they competed against seventh and eighth grade teams from central and northern Minnesota. Again, this group also meets in the morning. I think that's commendable to come to school early in the morning to do math. Love that. Uh, data for math are SGP, again, 50% or greater, sixth grade, 68%. 7th grade, 28%, and 8th grade at 49%. Offerings in science. There are collaborations across like courses, for example, in Project Lead the Way. The 6th uh, graders take a field trip to St. John's, which includes canoeing and lots of other outdoor activities in the fall. Next year, it's my turn to go. I'm excited. In hands-on labs, uh, frog dissection is one of the favorites for our students. In the middle of the day, we have a one-hour block, which is our lunch advisory block. For advisory, we empower our students. We have gender-specific choices for groups and focused PE, physical education. We have anti-bullying curriculum student conferencing on grades, attendance, behavior, and goal setting. We also have clubs and groups during this time. And then we have DEAR, which is drop everything and read. Some accolades. We have PBIS assemblies monthly um, and with a monthly theme. We have uh, monthly family breakfast, recognizing our students of the month. And then we have student televised recordings um, for the daily announcements, the students actually record them and then we play them through Schoology and then the students have the option to make comments on Flipgrid. And for our lunches, uh, just a note, we, our free and reduced lunch is at 73.70%. You've already heard uh, a little bit about or a lot of bit about fine arts um, option in uh, physical education, but specific to North, um, a student exploring fine arts, our band receives positive feedback each year when we attend the MMEA Festival in Alexandria. The majority of our band students earn superior and excellent ratings at solo ensemble contests held at North. Our choir program gives students the opportunity to give back to the community each year on Veterans Day by performing for patients at the VA hospital. Our orchestra receives high ratings, superior excellent each year at the MMEA Festival in Alexandria. And as Stephanie talked before, the success of our world drumming program has been noted by many at North and throughout the district and has caused interest for other schools to start similar programs. Our band, choir, orchestra, and world drumming students get numerous opportunities to perform during the school year, including evening performances, uh, for including e evening performances, in-school performances, like our North Variety Show, outreach concerts, elementary schools, and other places in the community. There are a variety of electives for students. One of them is AVID, and AVID is Advanced Via Individual Determination. It is a college readiness system designed to increase the number of students who enroll and persist in colleges and universities. Basically, it's a program that I like to use in layman terms. It helps students know how to play school to be successful in college. On our college and career day, students rotated between six speakers throughout the day to learn about different career and college options. North's goal was that students know all of the options available for them after graduating high school. We had over 40 volunteer speakers from our community attend the event. We also have Chinese Immersion, and that's our 6th to 8th grade program. When students are in 8th grade, they have a capstone with a two-week trip to China. This year, it was at Beijing and Changchun, and I had the opportunity to attend this year, and I was able to enjoy the Great Wall, Tiananmen Square, 
and phenomenal food. Art, uh, our current project that we are working on right now is a mural in the cafeteria with an artist and our art students. Other options for students for electives are Tech Ed, Project Lead the Way, Health, and Global Communications. In social studies, we empower our students in ways like social justice. We had a day of silence on 420 to bring awareness to gun violence, homelessness, and several other um, subjects. We also have student leadership connection, and it helps build student voice. We also have History Live, in which museum educators deliver lessons live to students all over the world. History Live is a two-way audio and visual communication between two locations via the internet. Students can see and hear the museum educator on the screen, and the museum educator can see and hear the students. It's a great experience because the students can actually ask the uh, speaker questions, and they can respond in real time because they're real right on there. History Day, National History Day, is a year-long academic program focused on historical research, interpretation, and creative expression for 6th through 12th grade. Students, uh, participants become writers, filmmakers, web designers, playwrights, and culminates uh, into a series of contests uh, at the local level and an annual competition in Washington, D.C. in June. What do we do after school? Lots of things. Our after school activities prepare our students as an extension of the classroom and to be well-rounded global citizens. We provide homework support through Dreamline. There are 55 athletic, academic, and school activities for students to choose from. We have partnerships with Apollo High School for several 7th through 12th grade activities. And students can concurrently participate between activities and athletics. One of our groups is CMPS. Students in this group uh, decide on an issue affecting their school, local, and global community, research, determine the underlying problem, generate solution ideas, develop a plan of action, and put that plan into action. CMPS students, uh, teams and individuals compete at the state level and are eligible to compete at the International FPS Conference each year. This is our North Proud video. I am Ellen Stewart, principal at North Junior High School. We are a 6 through 8 educational institution where we empower our students. When they're empowered, they learn, and they are prepared. We've been co-teaching for several years and we found the program to be extremely beneficial to students in our classroom. And this program has been particularly beneficial towards empowering them and preparing them for being better citizens in our society. They increase their grade level scores, they are feeling successful, they gain confidence. They become empowered by reaching multiple grade level standards and also they become empowered by reaching their language standards. This makes them more confident in every academic endeavor they are going to take. My role of DSS, what we do in the school is when the students have a challenge uh, through the day, we help them prepare the day and uh, go back to class and learn. I work with a lot of students that have learning issues or anxiety issues or some kind of behavioral issues and so I spend a fair amount of time working one-on-one -on -one with kids trying to teach them strategies you know with learning or helping them to deal with anxiety or some types of behavioral regulations. And with those skills, that gives them a large amount of empowerment, I think, not just for school, but for life. Yeah, who is really about being your best self every day, showing kindness.
kindness and helping each other um, and striving to be your best each day that you come. Um, it empowers the students to really think about how they can impact um, their life here at North Junior High and impact each other. Both the robotics class and the computer and drawing class are 100% um, student driven. So the projects that they do, um, they do them at their own pace, at their own level, and I'm here to help them. All the projects are here to build up students and to empower students to be able to do things on their own. And it takes a lot of practice to be able to get there. Music at North Junior High prepares students to engage in the music in their community, to be engaged within their classes, to work together in an ensemble type experience so that they can be better members of their community and of our school as a whole. English Academy prepares our new to country students who have either never been in a school setting before or have never been in English classes before to be successful not only in our school setting but also in our community. I'm kind of working as a tool of communication between the students, violence, staff, and vice versa. We do small group instruction and we parallel and we also do one to each one assist. But our favorite one is station teaching and that is because we can work with small groups and meet their needs and the kids actually fight. They, they enjoy it. So here in geography class, I think we are empowering the students by educating them a little bit about culture and people in the world and so when they get out and meet other people they feel a little more comfortable with the people they meet in the world. I provide the language support, she provides the math support and together we've seen a lot of awesome results. The kids are moving towards their grade level goals. They get the advantage of having two teachers, two perspectives and they also get to be integrated together with a lot of kids that they might not have had before. In the special education programs here at North Junior Happy, we teach students academic, functional, and transitional skills to empower them to be more independent and to prepare them for life after high school. In advisory, we do more than schoolwork. We build relationships. At North, we are safe, kind, responsible, and cooperative. We are North Proud! North Proud! North Proud! Thank you for your time. Questions? Jeff. I just have a quick one, Ellen. Um, I used to be a knowledgeable judge. Is that still thriving at the junior high level? Unfortunately not. Um, but it's something that I know that we've kind of worked through. Um, I know that there is an interest to, you know, get it started again. Yes. Okay. I just want to say thank you for your passion and your enthusiasm. I can just imagine being a student there and and your role sometimes we've in, in my day and age of being in school is was seen as authority and um, you know you don't see the principal and you don't hear from them and gosh you're just very exciting and I have a very fun presence so thank you very much thank you I do love my babies even though they don't like for me to call them babies they're my babies and I love every one of them anyone else questions Bruce well, I, Ellen, I don't, I don't have a question, but I'm just going to talk to you about the culture of North, which I got to know never having taught there, but uh, I lived right next door to the longtime music teacher there, and uh, Louise Clinton, and uh, gosh, she was just uh, so excited about teaching at North, and um, it, it just kind of uh, reminds you that... Um, the enthusiasm of all of our teachers and uh, paras and assistants and, and principals and, and uh, cafeteria workers and custodians and everybody. It's just a team effort. And uh, I'm, I'm impressed when I come over to North. Uh, I've been invited over on some occasions. And uh, I just like it when I walk in there. It's, it's energetic. And yet it's uh, kind of... 
got a sense that everybody is uh, in control. Uh, I taught junior high school at the beginning of my career. We called it boot camp <laughs> just to get you ready for high school back in that day. But uh, it's really a, a great school. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I am, I've spent 23 years in high school. This is my first boot camp in uh, middle school. And I have to say, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. Um, I can't imagine going back to high school just because it is such a phenomenal experience at North Junior High. Looks like that's it. Thank you very much. So, oh, Willie wants to make a comment, and then it's 9 o'clock. We'll let you go home. We're not going to let Principal Stewart go home at the moment because I saw her get, or I felt her get choked up right there at the end. And so I want to say she almost became a little bit emotional. And so before she was getting ready to present, she expressed an emotion that she was stressed or nervous as she was sitting out in the audience. And I think it's I think what really comes out as she's speaking, as she's sitting here talking to the board, or as you see her, her walking in the hallways, interacting with students and staff, there's no stress when she's on the job. She enjoys what she's doing. Students and staff and family in that entire North community can feel that. And it's just that. It's a North community. It's a, it's a North, the North family. And so I just want to say thank you, Principal Stewart, for what you do for District 742. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you very much.